with a toothbrush getting between each link plate, scrubbing top and bottom of each link on both sides. Might be 40 minutes, but you've got to take your time if you're going to spend this kind of energy to clean your chain properly. Please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Next task, rear wheel's going to come out. We're going to take a look at the rear brake. Here's a preview. Um, but the rear wheel first. Then I want to check the bearings and see that they move smoothly, both sides. We also need to check the chain and sprocket and see where we're at with that. Okay, so spacer out. Inside you can see the orange, that it is a sealed bearing. So that is moving just fine. It's not lumpy, crusty, and there's no wiggle in it backwards and forwards. No, so that bearing is fine. So that's all good. Let's spin it around. Let's take that spacer out. Another sealed bearing. Yep, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pull the cush drive out. Catch all the rubbers. Well, almost all. That sits inside on the needle roller here. That needle roll is definitely low on grease. That needs quite a bit more grease in there. Hasn't hurt the surface of the spacer that sits inside. You can see where it's been running from the tracks, but the grease dried out. The last time that was greased was about six track days ago. So obviously with heat, especially the summer heat, the grease just goes away. So we've got to take care of that. Dust seals are okay, so as far as the wheel goes, that's fine too. And we have a problem. So, teeth are all rounded out. The U between each tooth is exaggerated in shape one side to the other, it's not even. In terms of shape, you can see it's very short here. It gets elongated and comes all the way back on this side. So totally misshapen on the U between the two teeth. That kind of wear, that sprocket's now done. It's done its job, it needs to go away. Because you can see on each back side, that angle shape is consistent all the way throughout. And the short side, they're totally different angles coming up to the teeth. So that sprocket is toast. And that will go bye-bye. So we need to go get a new sprocket. Tons of rear pad left. So we're fine there. And then in terms of the piston inside, uh, fairly clean down in that gap. But could do with a toothbrush and a little work later when we put it all back together. So for now, we've got to add a sprocket to our list. And then there's no blow-by on the entry to the can on the outside. So that's all good. And a nice color inside for a very clean burn. The original surface is ruined, obviously. And the finished surface from the Leo Vinci pipe is damaged on the back but not so bad on the front, so we've got to figure out what can we use to bring it back other than where the band sat, and that'll hide it, and just get this looking nice and clean and pristine again. Bit of work ahead, but not a problem. The other benefit of pulling the can is that we get full access to the shock and the link plates, and those have to be removed. The bushings have to be removed and greased. So we get a little bit of a two-for-one there, in that we get total access to the shock linkage. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.